Welcome back everybody, I'm Wes Pinkston, and in this video I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of the 6th floor, which is Castle McFrights, and the boss ghost for this level is King McFrights. So we, in order to get through this gate, we're going to have to summon Guiji. Head over here to the left and use the suction to pull the rope. Head back over to Luigi and that'll give you access to Castle McFrights. And I'm going to do this pretty quickly um, so that you can kind of take your own time to explore the level. So um, with these, if you want, you can do suction shots on each one of the uh, chest areas. And then um, in this one, use the dark light to reveal one. Take care of the spirit balls. And that takes care of this section. And then here's the call to Sam. And this is where we're going to meet King McFrights for the first time. So the goal here is to make our way down to the call to Sam. So we're going to head through this door here, and we're going to be met with a couple of goobs. So just your ordinary strobe bulb and suction. Now making our way through to the left and then through this door right here. And then any of these, um, I think they're crows. Just use your strobe bulb, that's the easiest way. And then if you want, you can get that. Any time you see these spikes, just summon Goigi and he'll walk through to get any kind of item on the other side of uh, some spikes. So we see spikes, summon Goigi, walk through the spikes, use the suction to pull the rope, and then go back to Luigi by double clicking the R. So, pulling the rope, clicking R once, and then clicking R once again. And there we go. Now, if you want, there's going to be uh, oozers, and they like to hide in different objects. So, for me, I like to kind of take care of the objects that they might potentially hide in. Whenever you see a goob that has a shield, use the suction shot on the shield, and that'll remove the shield, because the strobe bulb won't work, because it'll be ineffective because of their shield. And there we have an oozer. Now, suction shot. There's an oozer who's hiding in the barrel. There he is again. Perfect. Now, 
as we try to enter this door right here, it's going to be locked. So use the suction shot on these kegs. And the key is going to be right there. Now that we have the key, and if you want for the, the mice, you can use the strobe bulb. Now for this portion, once again, the spikes will come up, summon Gooigi, go to the ball and rope and pull it, and then push A, go back to Luigi and head to this bottom left one, and it's going to give kind of a trap door, and here we go. So you want to grab this torch and bring it close to the dragon's mouth. Now hitting the strobe switch with the strobe bulb. There you go, that lit. The lantern, the torch, burned away the rope, the spider web, and now head to this bottom portion, use the suction, that'll drop down a ladder for us. And now just head up the ladder and exit this room. Now to bring up that elevator shaft, we're gonna head to this kind of windmill, windmill type thing and just push ZR. Now summon Goigi put Luigi in the elevator shaft and go back to Luigi and push ZL and hold that down. Now you just want to double click on the R joystick, RR, and there we go. So now we're in, in this area. There is going to be a door right here, kind of a sarcophagus. So push X, which is a dark light. It's going to reveal this sarcophagus tomb looking thing. And we're going to need to get entry into there. So push X, head on inside. Now, if you were to just try to cross this bridge, you're going to get hit with arrows. So what we're going to need to do is use the suction for this ball and rope, pull it, now summon Guiji. He won't be affected by those arrows. And use the suction aim up high to make it fall down. And do the same thing for this side. And there you go. Now it's safe for Luigi to cross. He can cross the water to this chest. And that's going to reveal the key. We need this key to open up the door in the other room. So we'll exit through this sarcophagus thing one more time. And we're going to be met with a whole bunch of mini hammers. So to take care of these mini hammers, it's the same as anything, the strobe bulb and the suction, kind of like mini goobs. And there we go. So we have the key. Now we can enter this door, which was previously locked. Now for this section, summon Guiji. Head over to this ball and chain and pull it until the gate is fully revealed. And you're going to have to have Goigi using the ball and chain because there's going to be water that we have to cross. 
Now we got the key. As we exit, a goob is going to cause some trouble. So quickly, make sure Luigi's outside the water. Use Gooigi to take care of the goobs. And we're going to need to do it fairly quickly here. Because as you can see, the walls are closing in. So, take care of the goob. There we go. Now, ball and chain. Doing the same thing to bring down the gate. Go back to Luigi. And there you go. We have the key to leave this room. Now for this portion right here, head to the ball and the rope, use the suction ZR. That's going to reveal the windmill. Now using Gooigi, using ZR, we want the first gate or bridge to be all the way up. Keep using ZR until the second bridge is all the way down there so the first bridge right there is all the way facing up the second far bridge is facing down now using the windmill push zl and that'll connect them so once again using zr until the first bridge is pointing directly up keep holding zr until the second bridge is all the way facing down and then using ZL to bring them together. And then you want to run across pretty quickly because there'll be these knives or swords kind of swinging. And we're almost there. For this one, just use Goigi to pull the cart using ZR and that'll block the first three crossbows. Now continuing with Goigi, use the dark light and that'll reveal this wagon. Take care of the spirit balls. Now doing the same thing, ZR to cover up the three remaining crossbows. There we go, and now it's safe for Luigi to cross. And now we have a whole bunch of mini goobs. There we go. Almost to the Coliseum. And if you want to, there's a secret passage behind this big curtain. And you use the dark light to reveal it. Okay, now we're heading to the Coliseum. And this is where we will find... King McFrights. Now, in those little mini castles, there's going to be crossbows. So you're going to have to dodge the crossbows. And for him, the secret is to use the suction shot on his chest. Um, but we're going to have to hit him with the strobe bulb first. So when he charges you, at the very last second, he's going to reveal his head. That's when we use... So, we have arrows that we have to char or dodge. Now, when he charges you, here we go. Charging your strobe bulb. Suction shot. Slam him. So, 
So once again, once he charges you, at the very last moment, he's going to pop his head up. And when he pops his head up, that's when you use the strobe bulb, which will phase him. And then use the suction shot to slam him. So charge the strobe bulb. There you go. Suction shot. Slam. Now when he run, rides around the Call of Sam here, that's what triggers the arrows. So just keep an eye on those little castles and just dodge the arrows. Now when he gets set up here, charging the strobe bulb, wait, wait, let it go. Now using the suction shot and slam him. And this has one more phase to it. He's going to grab his shield and do kind of a tornado-like motion. Dodge him. And he's going to tire himself out. So right there he gets tired. Stroll bulb. Suction. One more time. Just wait for him to tire himself out. There he goes. Now he's tired. Strobe bulb. Suction. Slam him. And there you go. You defeated King McFrights. And there we go. We got elevator button to floor seven. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.